Hello Internet, welcome back to our Cataclysm tutorial series. We uh, have our raw materials for building up the faction camp. We just need to deposit food and get them to start working. Now we had issues before with depositing food. Number one being that certain food items uh, break the game and cause a seg fault. So I'm anticipating more of that. Secondarily, we uh, had at one point put a bunch of food in here and then we went away for about a day and all that food vanished even though there wasn't any like there wasn't enough there to actually like we didn't have npcs there so where did that food go it didn't get eaten did it get stolen because we didn't have npcs living here we've set lyle up to stay here now even though there's no well which uh we can manually dig a well but i don't know if it will work or if we have to do it through it requires a mechanical pump. Covered well, deep well, requires a method to draw the water from. <sighs> what? And we have to build a pump. We don't have a pump. Okay. I think you can get a mechanical pump from an engine, so that would be something we could do, but it's a well. Why do I need a pump for a well? you know civilization for years would just use a bucket why do i need a okay it doesn't matter so we've hauled this food in here let's save and distribute food hopefully no crashes we distributed 2800 whatever calories can haul this garbage out of here because we don't need it lyle's darting all over the place keeping an eye out for incoming danger let us begin dropping food with what we suspect will be okay. So plastic bags should be fine. All these are bags, in fact. Drop all that, distribute food, 2000 calories, great. And finally, let's save again, and we will drop the graham crackers. And last time we had this issue, okay, was a cardboard box. So. It's nice to see that's not an issue. If we go to distribute food, we now have <sighs> increase your factions food supply value, which in turn is used to pay laborers. Current total food stock is 110. I just put thousands of calories. I, 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 like, I don't know what to do about this. This has been an absolute nightmare trying to get this to work, trying to get all this NPC crap to work. It is my opinion, so I'm going to put this out here. As I stand right now, it is my opinion that this game is, the NPCs are unplayable. The NPC faction camp, based on the seg faults and the fact that it's not storing our food properly, they're not currently playable. They're not usable. Uh, and it's my opinion that I don't care anymore. I don't want to do this. I'm going to save the game. Um, we're going to spawn, I don't know, what has a lot of meat, cooked meat. No, what has good, good shelf life as well, because I don't know if meat matters. Dehydrated meat. Dehydrated meat, 400 calories. Give me um, 300 of those. No, just drop, drop everything. Okay, drop, no, why'd you drop the SIG? I told you to drop, drop the meat, grab the SIG, distribute food. Yeah, oh gee, oh, we have calories now. Oh, that's so nice. That's so nice, okay. Because I don't want to deal with this anymore. The, it's my opinion. And again, I want to say this because I want it to be like really clear. I believe that NPCs as companions are more frustration than they're worth. I believe that the faction camp now also that I'm playing with it has too many bugs and is not currently playable. So I would recommend that you not play with NPC faction camps or NPCs. And that hurts me to say that because I love this game and I really want to be supportive. There have been so many bugs, so much... Ill, like just annoying behavior so many mistakes i'm just i'm done i don't want to do it anymore so we'll upgrade the northeast faction camp and we will set lyle to work we why 
it's not doing anything. We will set Lyle to... He doesn't have enough fab. Ah, uh, of course. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So what we will do, because, uh, again, I'm done with this. So we will mutate the NPC, uh, or rather we will change him. Skills. We'll set his fabrication to three, because I don't want to do this anymore. And we're going to set him up with the camp. There you go. Begins to upgrade the camp. Excellent. Excellent. And we didn't have to cheat or anything. So, we will eat and drink something. Let's grab an MRE for ourselves. Because uh, why not? It's a bad day. We might as well treat ourselves. You know what? Give me that ratatouille. Ratatouille is delicious. And we will drop the ratatouille. Butcher the ratatouille. Nope, butcher, yes, butcher, yes, butcher, yes. We will eat the ratatouille entree, cookie, cracker, peanut butter, dehydrated fruit, chocolate bar. Eat it all, my friend. We are full, we are very thirsty, and unfortunately we ate too much, so we're not going to be able to quench our thirst properly. We are engorged, which is bad, and we vomited. Yes, yes, excellent. So we are still engorged, surprisingly. Uh, engorged. You're full to bursting. This was a mistake. Yeah. Did we actually vomit? No, we just hurt. We have stomach cramps. Go ahead and wait 30 minutes because I don't have anything better to do. Let that come down a bit. Didn't come down as much as I would like. Uh, we're going to, I think, read. So we'll close all these and we'll come to our book pile. What do we want to raise at this point? Um, I'm not going to like cheat with our character, but I'm going to cheat on everything related to the faction camp because I don't want to do it anymore. So, um, and then we're probably just going to call call the series to a close after that. Anyway, um, we're going to we would want to raise computers further for bionic stuff. We would want to raise yeah. Let's go back to raising computers. So we're looking for computer science 301. While we're doing this, how much, how are we doing here? Give me the dirty CBMs. Oh, did we make a CBMs tile? Why? We're looking for bionics. Would be up here. Oh, these are, uh, there we go. Okay. So the anti-glare compensators and the faulty power storage device we kind of want those so we're going to turn on the aisle lights and we're going to repair those since we're not doing anything else go ahead and mend both of these reset to factory state and we'll get them working in the autoclave while we uh read and wait for our uh mend wait for our um status to come down so we can actually drink something we can do that now, so go ahead and have a drink. And we're now very hungry. Now we're satisfied, and we're full and no longer thirsty, but we are sluggish. So that's acting a bit peculiar as well, um, our food thing, because when we um, look in the menus, it actually shows us in the top left. I've noticed this has not been accurate over the last couple of episodes, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. I don't know if that's just coincidence, if that's just, you know, maybe I'm imagining it, but it didn't look right to me, so kind of think that's becoming an issue. So we're going to read computer science to try and raise our skill level a little bit further. That way, if we would go back and try, our focus is tanking so very hard. Um, you know what? I don't care. Continue reading. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm frustrated, internet. I'm frustrated by all the little bugs and, and idiosyncrasies with the NPCs and all that kind of stuff. I just, um, you know, and it's something that comes up from time to time on the channel. People will say, oh, why don't you do this? Why don't you do this? And a lot of times the answer is because I like to play games a specific way and I don't enjoy playing them other ways. So for me, I enjoy playing Cataclysm quite a lot. It's something I do, I mean, really several hours a week for the last at least year and a half or so. And, you know, I have a routine. I know what I enjoy about the game. I know what I don't like about the game. And so for me, it's like I play the way I want to play because I know I have fun with it. So when it comes to something like, oh, why don't you play with NPCs? 
it's for these exact reasons because I I'm currently playing with the NPCs and it's frustrating me to the point where I don't want to play Cataclysm anymore. And again, as a game I really enjoy, not wanting to play it is a point of frustration. Lyle, where are you? It said northeast, right? Or northwest, I thought. Northeast, maybe. Lyle. Okay, when the sun comes up, we'll find Lyle. I don't know what he's doing. He's supposed to be working. Maybe he's sleeping. Does he know to come up here to sleep? No, he doesn't. Okay, let's just wait for the sun to come up. <sighs> Barely came up. You have nothing to read. Uh, oh, I said about putting them in the autoclave. What am I doing? We need to wash. So this is the tools pile. Nope, this is the tools pile. We need our sponge back. Trusty sponge. Activate ye old sponge. Sponge. And we will wash both of these. Use the water nearby. Yes, you washed your items. Excellent. We then need our pouches. Pouch. Which are not considered tools for some reason. Awesome. Where would it even have put them? Pouch. Can't type pouch. Auto. No, obviously not in the wood pile. Not in the seeds pile. Nothing there. Not there. Not there. Not there. Not there. Nope. This is fun. This is fun for me. Is it as fun for me as it is for you? Autoclave pouches. Yes, give me five. We're going to activate the autoclave pouches. They are considered an other item, even though they're clearly a tool in my opinion. We're going to package the cleaned ones. Use the ones on me, please. And we will package both of these. You failed to properly prepare the CBM. Didn't know that was a thing. I didn't, I didn't know that was a thing. Okay. That's interesting. It's also interesting that the message prints before it prompts you. So like if I hit escape, oh, I can't escape. I have to select one. Okay. I thought maybe that would be an exploit where you could get free packages. Let's go ahead and dump our power storage into the autoclave and turn that on. So that's working. And I don't, I don't see Lyo. I don't really know what he's doing. He's not on our map either. Do they disappear when you give them a job? Recover ally from upgrading Northeast Shack. 20 hours and 12 minutes. Interesting. It's interesting. It's also interesting that yesterday it said something like 48 days rations, and now we have 36 days rations. Uh, and we've only passed one day, so that's obviously not correct either. So I guess we just don't do anything until he comes back, right? Like, we don't... Um, I can't... I, I don't do anything with him. It just sort of... Uh, he just does it, and he'll reappear when he's done. Let's uh, go grab this storage battery. This will kill a bunch of time. Hello, straggler. Let's go ahead and pull our SIG out. We could obviously melee him, but... I do like shooting things in the face. Really, you survived that. Good for you. Doesn't matter. In the end. Death gets us all, my friend. Giant web spider, eh? We don't see it anymore? Okay, well. So, we have a fridge, a kitchen unit, and a storage battery. I really don't want the fridge or kitchen unit or the gas lantern. That's a good item if you are looking for a source of light and you haven't really gotten to the stage where you can have an electric vehicle producing light for you, but that's also a pretty easy stage to get to, so it's not often relevant. So let's look for the storage battery. Uh, I don't, I see a car battery. Where's your storage battery? Storage battery, okay, and we will take this. Oh, we need our crane. Well, thankfully there's one in this garage. So we actually can just grab uh, we need to activate 
the engine crane and we'll drag this out here we could take the base of this take the casters off of it and put that on our crane that way it pulls a little bit smoother but I've never found that to be relevant um, and I believe for taking off we also have to be within range of it so we actually have to go to the other side of the vehicle in order to pull this out and it should be right here so we should have space enough to do this storage battery yes and we'll take that out great it was pretty quick and you'll see it has a storage capacity of 40,000 which is considerably more than anything we have in our vehicle right now I think our current vehicle capacity is like I don't remember like 1500 or 15,000 I don't remember uh, but we're gonna just haul this so we don't have to carry it this is gonna take some time ignore yeah where are you spider just hanging out up there you are listed as hostile but you haven't come over here so I'm just gonna respect you and treat you like you know uh, an equal and I'm gonna show you the respect that you deserve by walking away so we don't have to be in conflict with one another because I don't want to hurt you spider frankly I could kill you if I wanted to and I don't want to do that to you so we're gonna grab our crane crane now where did we put Frazier on the trunk right Frazier Frazier the crane activate the Frazier and we will install this I guess just on the exterior since we're right here with the crane can it fit here we'll put it here storage battery and you'll see we now have yeah so we had a previous charge of 8,000 and now we have a charge of 48,000 so you'll see how significant storage batteries actually are and why they're so much better for your vehicle than basic batteries because every time we run this car and our batteries are at 100 percent we're wasting all that energy that the engine produces um, and it just disappears you know it's wasted battery charge we will also turn on our engine to compensate for the battery drain of the autoclave which I should have done originally how much longer we don't know we have to wait for the printed message right I think uh, so we'll just hang out for a little bit we'll go back to reading although I'm not super thrilled with that we are computers for um, what does compute computers only takes us to five I think the computer book we were reading where did it go did I did I drop it here I did so that'll take us to five this uh, our focus is quite bad let's go ahead and have a swig of alcohol and I don't know we can throw something snack foody in us have a shot of maple syrup why not like I'm a four-year-old some jam why not and uh, we pretty much donated all of our snack foods to the camp and it just all up and vanished so there's really nothing we have in our inventory that's a super big boost to our mood so we'll just take some of those we'll grab the mp3 that's the wrong pile it's out of battery charge oh yes we were having so many issues with our batteries charging and it moved my batteries somewhere else instead of putting them on the battery thing and I don't remember where they went now here yes so give me one of these disposables because who cares reload <sighs> inventory mp3 some days you know it's just it just gets to me uh, where everything feels so obnoxious it dropped it on the ground for some reason put our music in and do we have the aisle light on we can turn that off as well because it's daylight and we'll come out here and we'll just read in the daylight I mean so what else is going on with me other than all the complaining stuff really nothing most of my recording stuff has fallen through I was gonna record super mega baseball I'm having issues with that which is a shame because that game's a lot of fun I don't think people would care that much it is the third game in a franchise and it's a sports game which a lot of people really look down on um, but it's arcade style baseball so it's actually like a lot of fun been playing it in my downtime for sure and having having a good time with it and was gonna put some up on the channel um, but I'm having some issues with recording it had to cancel our SnowRunner series that was a bummer as well quite an enjoyable game in my opinion 
Um, it's not giving me the printout messages about the autoclave. Are you done? You are done. Okay. And we will drop the other one in here. And again, activate it. The storage battery is quite charged at this point. I think we can turn off the engine and be okay. And we're going to be going to sleep here, I think. Uh, let's eat something really quick. We just eat some fruit leather, just something in our belly, essentially, and uh, turn off the MP3 player. And it's still lit back here. We need to wear our headgear and our blindfold, and we will go to sleep. Yeah, Super Mega Baseball, if you haven't played it, it's a fun little arcade game. Um, Snow Runner, I think, is more of a niche thing. I feel like if you're not into like driving big trucks or driving into mud or off-roading or whatever, I don't think people will like that unless you're into those things, which I think is a pretty small market, honestly. I think... I think racing games do really well, but stuff like that where it's like simulation-y and it's more about like trucking and delivering you know, supplies and stuff like that. I think that's a much smaller market. You know, I think people who look for car games and stuff like that, they're looking for primarily race games. They want to drive fancy cars and, and collect a bunch of different vehicles and stuff like that. And SnowRunner's missing a little bit of that. There aren't that many trucks, and it's much more simulation-y. And I don't know. I enjoyed it way more than I expected to, but I don't think the average person the average gamer would, you know, I don't think my audience necessarily would. I, you know, you figure I have like 700, 675 subscribers, something like that. And, uh, maybe like a hundred people watch these episodes. I would say maybe out of you, there's like six of you, seven of you, maybe that would enjoy that game a lot. Um, but I also, again, was surprised by how much I liked it. So, Hey, if you think you might be into it, definitely check it out. It is Epic exclusive. As far as I know, I had it through Epic. Um, as far as I know, it's an Epic exclusive. So that is unfortunate. But I imagine it is uh, on consoles as well. If that's something that interests you, definitely check that out. Cataclysm, of course, is superior to that game in every conceivable way. Because Cataclysm is the best. Hmm, Just eat some wheat. I don't care if it makes you happy. Yeah, so in that menu, it actually said we were very hungry. And as soon as I left that menu, it jumped to satisfied. So that's the issue I was discussing. Uh, seems like Cataclysm, since the container update, has just been extremely buggy. And I've been trying really hard to be understanding and like kind about it. Because I think it was a cool change that's going to have a lot of positive benefits for people. But at the same time, I am getting very frustrated that a lot of the basic quality of life stuff has now deteriorated as a result. So I am getting a little salty about things. And I feel bad about it because I know Korg worked very hard. And I know that people are still working very hard to implement that and get that smoothed out. So it's one of those things where it's like, I'm frustrated by it, but it also feels bad to complain about it. I really don't want to end the episode, you know, until we get this guy back. So I need to kill six hours. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and pop on the MP3, and we'll just go back to reading. And I'll try to think of something to talk about. Um, yeah, Super Mega Base. Of course, the sun's going down. Super Mega Baseball. A lot of fun. Um, there's some weirdness with it. It's an arcade baseball game, so, like... Again, I don't think it's like a super mass appealing type game, but I really like arcade baseball games. It reminds me of, you know, being a kid and playing old, old baseball games on the Sega and Nintendo uh, systems and the early Playstations. When uh, PS2 came out, I started playing a lot of sports games, even though I'm not super into sports. Um, and a lot of them were very enjoyable, that arcade style. Before, you know, nowadays, sports games are like basically... Uh, they're just loot boxes. Like that is a hundred percent why they make those games is to sell loot boxes. It's not about the quality of the game or anything like that. It's about trying to sell those loot boxes. So it says he's done. Emergency recall. Cancel no, do not cancel the mission. Yes. 
Eldarn returns from upgrading the camp and earned a bit of experience. Are you are you kidding me? I is this I don't understand. What what it what is this? This is not a building. Oh, hello internet. Uh, I need to step in again as the editor because I'm incapable of playing even a simple game that I love very much without becoming so frustrated that I lose my cool. So if you, uh, oh, and first and foremost, I got a new microphone, so I'm going to try to balance the audio volume, but there may be some issues with that um, slipping into this episode. Um, so basically what happened is we sent Lyle Darden after we did, you know, probably about an hour worth of work gathering wood and nails for our faction camp. We sent Lyle off to build our building. Now, in the actual um, menu, it does say that this is not a full building. I never noticed that until I was in editing. When you select the building, it actually references half of a building. Now, obviously, what you're seeing on the screen right now, I probably have it freeze-framed because I don't have footage for this. Um, that is still not half of a building. So I feel very misled because when I built this building, I was anticipating fully built. I expected a very small shack, maybe four interior tiles as a starting point for a larger base. Um, just literally just large enough to fit a bed or two. That is not what happened. What happened is we got a quarter of a building. I believe if I look at the footage here, uh, it appears to be two walls to the north, two walls to the east, and then four floor tiles. Now, I I was not anticipating this. I was so tilted when I saw that 60 planks, 14 sheets of plywood, and 300 nails, and all that got me was four walls and four floor tiles. I lost it. I flipped out. I gave a huge rant at the end of this episode. I said I was canceling the series, and then I proceeded to Discord where I basically flipped out uh, about how pointless this faction camp is. Now, all of that is some of it. I mean, you watched the last couple episodes. I was having a bad day. I was going through uh, some things, and I've been continually experiencing bugs and issues with our NPC and with the faction camp itself. So I don't really think it's fair of me to say, like, oh, we're canceling the series. I don't think it's fair of me to flip out on people who put in a lot of work to build these things, to make these, you know, people work very hard to implement the faction camps, have worked very hard at making Cataclysm a really great game. And I think it's unfair to uh, just have a bad day and turn all of that anger. Like, this is, like not to go into too much detail, but, like, my life before was a lot of me blaming other people, being angry at other people, taking my own frustrations out on other people, and I don't want to be that person anymore. So it's wrong of me. Yes, there are things that frustrate me, but it is wrong of me to turn that aggression on other people. So I have cut the end of this episode. Uh, we're going to come back. We're going to be debugging the faction camp. I'm not going to spend a lot of time and energy on this. I'm going to debug everything. We're going to cheat our way through building a faction camp. Um, and, and what it comes down to is things we've already discussed. I think that NPCs are not in a workable situation. I think their AI needs improvement. And we talked about all the bugs and issues. The faction camp itself, I believe that the time investment currently is too much. Um, yes, it takes time to build things. And yes, it would require a lot of wood. Um, but the fact that it took 14 plywood sheets and 60 planks and 300 nails to give me eight tiles worth of a building is absurd. I think that that's uh, way too much. I, I thought like when, when I thought it was a full building, I thought, oh, okay, this is actually pretty cheap. You know, if I built this all from scratch, it would take a lot more than this, but to get only this quarter of a building for that kind of wood and nail investment and for that to take almost two days I mean, I guess the two days is pretty reasonable, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. But, like, it's a lot to go into such a small reward. You're telling me I have to do this four more times in order to, to get a full building? And that's literally the starting point. That's not even a full camp. That's one building, you know. Um, 
I just, I, I lost it. I don't think it's worth it. Someone was telling me like the main reason to build a faction camp is to get NPCs to, to deconstruct vehicles, but you can actually make them do that outside of a faction camp. Um, it says in the dialogue when you, you know, when in that episode where we read a lot of the, um, faction camp rules and stuff, it specifically says that the garage is not very valuable because you can actually have them do that without a faction camp. So I can't think of a single reason currently why I need a faction camp. I don't really understand the benefits of it. And to me, the enormous material cost, time cost, and just the ex extreme amount of frustration that has come from this to me is not worth it. So in my opinion, for my particular playstyle, I do not believe that faction camps actually have any value for me as a player. You will have to make that decision on your own, whether or not you like this, whether or not this is worth your time or not. But for me personally, I did not enjoy this endeavor. Uh, and so we're going to just be debugging things in the future because I don't really want to do this anymore. So, um, you know, series is not canceled. Uh, we're going to finish building at least some of the faction camp to show off what that means. In the future, we will just debug and jump ahead to, to make that happen. So... I wanted to jump in and cut this because otherwise I was going to have like an eight minute rant where I basically just raged about all the, the bugs and things that we've experienced. So thanks for bearing with me again. I apologize if the dialogue here is much quieter than the main video. I will do my best in editing to balance those sounds. So thank you for watching. I appreciate that you stuck it out through the series, through all the complaining we've had over the last couple of episodes. And uh, I will be back with something in the near future, we'll, we'll come back to the series and we'll continue working on our faction camp. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.